I'm lost. Azir? Should we do some Azir gaming? I haven't played this one in a long time. Let's do some Azir. Azir is gonna be fun. Royal Canin, all of Midland? Is that a is that a strategy? We play all of mid and we just queue the wave twice and the the, the wave is gone. I'll do Nashers into last chapter into probably Anger or something like that. Or Lichbane maybe. Ah, eh, probably not worth about Lichbane. Azir is still banned in pro play. Well, I hope it I hope it stays forever. That's all I'm gonna say. Yo, we have to kind of run. Look at that Talon W damage. Ta Talon is stacking some damage dealt already. Where is your skin? I don't have a skin, but Azir skins are pretty bad in general. What a pleasant draft, says our receiver. The enemy team do also doesn't have the best draft. Shaco is probably AP. I go get water, don't die. His name is Charles Sona. Minions has spawned. Our Yumi casually just goes PRB. Satsuga, thank you for the Prime. We are the authors of history. Are you not Ezra meet with Ignite. You gotta be really careful. This champion is so strong, level 1, 2, and 3. <laughs> One of the strongest champions in the game. The Genuinely. Time to walk back because now he's just gonna go forward and wreck me. Oh, he got level 2 from ward kill. I got Altias, I'm happy. Early game damage is not the best. We need to wait for Nashor Spike and a couple of W points. The, power of the, sun the trade wasn't that bad for me, I think. But obviously the lower I go, the more dangerous it gets into uh, Ezreal. He has a lot of execute damage and he plays Ignite. I'm gonna go point into W here. He doesn't have a ward, so I don't expect him to ward anything. Losing some minions on our tower. Minion's gonna die, right? Yeah, I damaged it too much once. Bottom got Doof. Yumi's alive with 1 HP? Okay. This one does need base soon. I mean, he does push over me. Might want a base right now, since it's cannon wave. I don't know where he based. I dropped one minion in case to look to stop his base, but I don't know where he based. Just gonna slow push now. Now sure. Getting slowly stronger. He's gonna have tier. Gold and probably longsword or something like that. Nice, he missed the cannon. Huge. Enemy Shaco stole our raptors. Okay, he didn't go tier, he goes double longsword. Okay, so he's thinking of going a lot of damage, I guess. Join me 
I gotta be careful because I do not have any potions. I need to base soon. I'm definitely going very low on health. I need to base soon. Ooh, I didn't know my W kills it with one auto attack. I think this is a good timing to base. Uh, what do we buy? Um, blasting Wand is not much stronger. I think Blasting Wand and Dagger I'll buy. So right now, after since uh, Finnish Codex got a really huge nerf, Blasting Wand is a much better component now. If you can afford it. Our bot lane could get dove again. Uh, our bot lane is really struggling. That's what happens when you pick Yumi, one of the weaker, probably the weakest champion in this video game. I mean, she is the weakest champion in the video game. Okay, at least they didn't get Dove. Enemy Shaker gets the Dragon. Uh, chat, that's a bug, right? He's gonna ult me. Chat, that was a bug, right? Chat? Well, not, good job by Talon, but was that a bug? It really looked buggy, no? What just happened? Not sure. That to me felt like a bug. Talon, what they're doing is illegal. Keep fighting ADC. W what are we saying though? Talon can't just magically gank bot and make you guys... Talon already got counter jungled by Sheiko. And then if, if they get counter ganked when they're pushing like this, you guys lose 3 3 Stop and die. Gonna play sword now. We lost three plates bot on already. None know the will of the desert better than I. Ezra still didn't go tier. Maybe this guy is not interested in buying tier on Ezra. Roam because I'm Azir. I'm pretty bad champion at roaming, so I kind of just the only choice I have right now is to just clear mid waves. We are made by our choices. So we will be clearing mid waves. I almost got Nasher. Oh, I'm gonna walk bot here. This is a good roam timer, because maybe I can counter gank into something. This is a Shaco clone. Wait, watch. Enemy Shaco is really trolling, right? Beautiful. Okay, that's huge. That's a really good roam for me. Okay, enemy Shaker really trolled there. I thought the cl the, the Shaker under tower was a clone at first because it was really trolled, but then, yeah, enemy bottle didn't help him because they know I was coming from Riven and the uh, River and they will get collapsed as well. Ezra probably base, so we're gonna quickly counter push and base as well. We're gonna do grabs, but I really need base. I hope Ash doesn't walk up here and cancel my base, because that would be pretty bad. We are... Nice. We are on our first item. Flash uh, Aphelios. Ooh, okay. Why am I not moving? Hello? Not bad. Enemy ADC died, they're gonna get grabs. I got... I got an item.
I lose a, I lose a plate here because I'm late, because uh, I got stuck in base for some reason. Such is life though. Ash is 6, I need to be careful of Ash Arrow. There can be random Ash Arrows. This game. Do we scale while this game? I can't. I guess we kind of do, yeah. We kind of do scale while this game. While Ash is clearing my ward. Ezra will does not do a lot of damage. I'm totally fine taking the damage. I'm going to try to drop a ward on Jogun. Because I guess we kind of need one. Uh, Ash didn't place any ward here, I think. It's just these three stacks, so I don't think they have a ward here. Queen scales hard this game? Yeah, I think so too. Ezra missing. I assume he's maybe base. I only want a base when I get uh, 1100 for sword boots. Oh, they were doing dragon. I want to quickly do a plate here. Okay. Uh, Shaker could be bot. I do have unleashed TP. Enemy Shaker is just trolling. Wow, what is he doing? I mean, to be honest, looking at enemy team comp, enemy bots does not have a very good synergy this game. Because they have like no CC together. It's really awkward for Shaker to ever go bot this game, IMO. And we're gonna start pressuring this Ezreal because we're really strong with Nausha Spike. And boom, another plate and a fleet proc to heal. Shaco could be mid, I think this is a good time to take a base. We got enough lead on mid lane. So sword boots, and then normally you'd buy Dark Seal, but Azir is just not a very good Dark Seal user, so I don't think I want to do that. So I think I'll do a Sapphire Crystal, because I do need to buy Lost Shop to this game, just because I didn't go Mana Flame Runes. Because I'm gonna uh, start shogging with Mana once I get my kit to level 5. Shaco is rushing Lianji first item, and he's also delaying the build by buying Amplifying Tomes. Really strange. Okay. Ooh, that was a close one. That was a close one. I might have been that if it that hit. Depending if Shaco was mid or not, but I assume he was, else she wouldn't arrow. We're still losing plates, Botlin. Ezra has infinite mana with Ascent Zero in the build right now. It does not have infinite sustain though. You can see that I am starting to hurt with damage already. Oh, I mean, that is a free kill. Nice. I can keep rushing plates now. Actually, plates are down. All of ghosted. Pot top to be full HP. I think I can get a tower here. Azir is such an amazing tower pushing champion. We're just gonna finish the tower. I trolled. I trolled my combo chat. It's gonna explode on me. That was a free kill on Shaker. I definitely trolled. That was 100% a free kill if I played that well. We're gonna base. Good luck to TP bot lane, maybe. Yeah. 
<laughs> All right, they didn't respect my TP timer. Do you want me to bury that? I don't think you should go with me. You should just stay on Sivir, no? Their blue is up. Do we want to maybe play for that? Enemy is what is that to me? Or is he? Okay. Close. Shake is right here. I can. No. I'm fine. Yay! Nice. We did ignite as well. Okay. Uh, I think Leandre. Normally, I just do Leandre in this year. I mean, this champion is really amazing with Leandre. I have to immediately run bot, as I'm gonna lose the cannon if I try to do Crocs. Olaf is just ignoring the queen with Tabe by. Out of them, uh, I like Yonji. We died on mid lane with Talon. So one of the th good things about Azir is that he can kind of do camps. So if I see Gromp up here, I could try to greet for it. As enemy Shaker is that. You take a bit of damage, but then you also have fleet healing, so it's not too bad. And just like that, you can still camps. Most mid laners can do that. Kinda don't want to do Dragon though, without my Talon being on the map. I could just do another wave bot lane. I can get gank soon, and on top of that, the Ash could arrow me. One for one is definitely a good outcome, considering there's a lot of people on me. Ooh, nice jump. It's probably that though. Ooh! Is he actually gonna leave? Wow, okay, that was really well played. He jumped perfectly. Okay, not good, not good, not good. We're all gonna die here. Olaf is so fat. Queen is not doing any damage to Olaf at this stage of the game. Taba is just such a big queen counter. Alright, so I even though the game was kind of looking to be easy, it's not going to be easy. Enemy top laner is a monster. And they have three dragons now, so they're one Jake away from Soul, and the Soul is god tier. Amazing. Wow, Colin just died too. God damn it. Almost got Leonji. The Shaker is using ult a lot. Ezra is playing so afraid. I guess he knows I am top one. After this wave, I'm gonna base for Leonji. Hi Ash. That's like the third arrow on me this game. Something like that. If we kill Shaco 20 seconds later, we could we could have forced Baron because there's a high chance all of his bot without TP as well. Question is now what do I buy? Because with this lost chapter item, I don't think I want to do anything with it. It could be just a Rabadon angle. Rabadon is going to give insane DPS. Wait, chat. Okay, I have a question. Why didn't I get a shared blue buff here by Talon? I thought it's when the map transforms and it already transformed this game. I'm so confused how this mechanic worked. I already asked 
last time and people said it's because the map has to didn't transform but now the map is transformed has to finish the jungle item but he does have it finished guys it, it is finished What is enemy team doing? I'm so confused. What are they doing? Blue spawned before map transformation? No, it didn't. Oh! Oh, maybe it did actually. Yeah, you could be right, I guess. Nice. I don't think... Don't burn, don't burn. The Shaker can just steal it. Nice. Olaf is quite weak to magic damage. He doesn't have any MR. I'm doing a lot of damage to him. Yeah, I'm kind of thinking to just go Rabadon. Go damage. I'm gonna power spike really hard on Rabadon. The only thing I'm lacking right now is some CDR in the build. I have low amounts of CDR. Blue buff helps though. Blue buff is stun haste. Okay. We should play top side. I could be basing again. I have enough gold to base again. That's a clone. Shaker has no Q. Come on, Quinn. You can kill him, Quinn. He has ult again? Okay. Holy moly. I'm gonna get Robert on all this. I just need a bit more farm. Oh, we need Drake though. We really need Drake. I can't start it. I need to make Yumi base. And I'm gonna TP away. She's gonna walk out of base with nobody. Yo, we can't let them this. Come on. Everybody. Uh, Yumi made the correct call. Staying. This is a correct call. She'll be too late if she bases. Let me clear the pinks. Oh shit. That's annoying spell. No, Asharo. No, they got the trick. God damn. Ah, uh, you missed that too, I think. Or not. No, we needed the Drake there. I needed someone to like tank the Ash Arrow. What did Queen do that fight? Queen needed to stay in this area so I would clear the pinks. That was really, really like That was just all over the place of a mess. Yumi has Night's Vow now? Yeah, she does have Night's Vow and it did 4k redirection. Oh no. Okay, Queen. Okay. There's something. We 
Ash is gonna look tired on me. I'll have Robo though, my damage is big. If they had Chemtech Soul, the game would be much easier, or Ocean Soul, but Cloud Soul is so broken on the champions. And maybe we can get Elder at some point. I need to be careful of Ash Arrow the entire time. We do Baron quite fast on Mazir. Uh, uh. God damn the Shaker clone. Always like I can't keep going because of the clone. I need to kill it first. This is really annoying to play. Their comp has so much range and poke and now they have Cloud MS. So it's very hard to walk into them. Hello Talon? What are we doing? They're gonna force Baron now. Ashar is coming on me soon. We can't even face check this area. Yep, there it is. The <laughs> Look how fast he is. He can just run out of, out of range like insanely fast. I don't know what to do. Nothing, I guess. There is nothing to do. After Talon dies, Baron's kind of uncontestable. How did he run so fast? It's Cloud Soul. Cloud Soul plus he ulted before. Uh... Yeah, he ulted. So ult also gives him move speed. Why'd you go Magic Pen here? Because they're starting to buy MR. You can see the Olaf. And because they're high level. When champions get high level, they get more MR. So you kind of need penetration at some point. And I'm nearing late game. So I they're all level 15. They're really high level. He has Frozen Heart and Negatron. Unironically, I can't even kill him. We should be trying to kill this guy, but we need maybe more than... I don't even know if we can reach him. I mean, he's just so fast. We can't reach him. Cloud Soul plus uh, Ghost is just too fast. We know Shaker is here, we saw him before. Am I gonna get Ash Harrowed? Well, Elder's almost up. If we don't get Elder, we obviously can't win, but yeah. We're pretty much losing because of Cloud Soul. I think if it's Hec... I mean, Hectic Soul would be really annoying too, because they would kite us as well. But Ocean and Chemtech would be e we easily beatable. Oh, this is very OP. I mean, Shaka doesn't even have a lot of items, but he's so annoying. We can't really get into range, right? We are just very low range, most of our champions. Seaver is three levels down on Aphelios. Queen is kind of useless. Even though she's high XP, she's not a high gold. Um, well, that's... Elder is up. We're giving Elder. Uh-oh. We are giving Elder. We're gonna need a miracle.
We really need a miracle. Bloom is very close. All of his swami turning. Drop the inhip. I can't contest inhip. I'm so close to Cryptum. I got two inhips here. It's almost dead, by the way. And they're really low. I shall have arrows soon. That turtle there. What well, I buy with this last item? I'm gonna lack mana if I think if I sell the, the last chapter, won't I? Or maybe Olaf just sends the game here? Uh, doesn't. But he brought double Nagatron Cloak. Would I leave if I flash Ash W? I would, but is flashing worth it? Is the question, right? Because what would change if I flash or not? We would still be in the same spot, even if I'm alive. Johnny, be good. Thank you for teaching Prime. Go Ludens for MS. Ludens doesn't give you MS. But right now, the only item here I can buy is Ludens anyway. So I think I have to buy Luden now. I'm the closest to Luden. I can't really buy anything else. Go anti heal. Anti heal doesn't do anything. Enemy has no healing. But it's got Ludens. It's gonna give me CDR. It's the best power spike I can buy. They're gonna get Baron with triple inhib. We do have Seaver though. Seaver and Queen are good champions of defending base and so is Azir. We definitely have a good base defending comp this game. But yeah, we need to basically kill them right before Elder spawns and then get Elder in order to win this game. Even then, ah, the game will be hard to win though. And good luck killing them when they have so much move speed to run away. We can't contest Baron. I'm gonna base for Elixir. Also, rather than Azir here, I mean, I can't really sell any item for it. That's the biggest problem. Well, I can't go there. I cannot go there. It is not possible. Shaker is playing the wave game, which is very smart. I have to clear, guys. I can't walk there. I've been telling you, stalling a lot. Now mid and bot are coming. Mid and bot minions are on their way. Ash might arrow soon as well. There it is. Now there's bot on top minions coming. Ash hour is like 20 seconds off and then it's gonna be here. That's really annoying. I couldn't finish him. He almost suicided. Our base defense is going kinda hard. Oh shit. I need to heal. 
I need to heal, I got one tower. Don't worry, I'm bringing another tower. Wait, they're backing? Really? They're backing? Well, now they won't have Baron and Elder together, probably. They'll only have one again, just like right now. Elder is not up yet. We could contest, technically. <laughs> Shelf him for damage and pain. Dude, I can't play without boots, man. Like, how do people not understand that? If I sell my boots, I'll die to anything. They're just gonna chase me down. Move speed is an important stat to have. It doesn't work like that. You can't just sell boots. There's nothing I can do with items. I'm full built. Gold is irrelevant to me. Well, our he hips have spawned, but they're gonna try to siege them now with Elder, right? So... There goes that. Cosmic for Luden. Uh, well, the problem then is lack of mana. If I go Cosmic, I lose 600 mana in my build, which means if I cast like 8 Qs, I'm gonna be on. Oh my god. Oh my god. I lost way too much HP. Oh my god, okay. I'm unfocused. I'm dead. We lost. I mean, yeah, my bad here, but even then, even then, like, would we realistically stand a chance in a fight? No. We'd get, we'd get aced here. I was so focused on talking to chat that I got hit by everything and I died, lol. But yeah, chat has always terrible suggestions when it comes to late game. People just automatically think where you're supposed to sell boots on champions when it's not the case. Most champions in the league can't sell boots late game. In what situation is Void Baron Criblum? If the game is very late and if multiple people have a lot of MR, then Void will outscale Criblum. But that usually doesn't happen. It's so like a 60 minute game. Well, I couldn't carry this game. Makes me sad. But... If anything, what did this game prove? That Yumi is the worst champion in the league. Yeah. Basically, having Yumi in your team is kinda equivalent to trolling. It is the worst champion in the game, by far. Draco carried the game. I mean, uh, I think... No, I think... I mean, technically yes, but what really carried the game for them is Cloud Soul. Cloud Soul was hard MVP for enemy team. 